Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to discuss about our pivot tables. In last lecture, we have learned about most important advanced Excel formulas, which is sum ifs, count ifs, and your average ifs. Now, in this lecture, we are going to learn how you can replace all these complex formulas with one table, and that is also a dynamic table. If I tell you what is the difference between a normal table and the dynamic table or a pivot table so in normal table once you add it your values it will not change but if i talk about the pivot table if you are adding some values you can change by using some drop downs you can drag and drop and everything will change and this is most important function in each and every data analyst work so i hope you will understand each and everything that i am explaining if you have any questions related to the technical part of excel or any other thing you can mention in the comment box okay so let's get started so guys in this video we are going to learn about pivot tables now to what is pivot table so basically pivot table is the table which help you to automate the thing now let's consider if you have one data and from that you have created one table using some x lookup or other formulas or you have manually put up the numbers over there then your table will look like this right and in this table it's very evident that once you uh, updated the numbers you cannot change those numbers but pivot table is the table where you can change the numbers you can change the rows columns values everything you can change plus you can add the filters into the pivot table now what is pivot table first of all let's understand that thing so in pivot tables you will find multiple rows and columns of the data and from that data you need to come up with some table which will be your end result of your data means you will analyze something out of it it can be related to sales it can be related to finance it can be related to anything but at the end of the day we'll find some analysis we'll find some extract out of that data and that thing will derive through a pivot table now what is pivot table simply you have this data okay you can see here on this presentation you can see there are multiple columns first is date second is region then product unit sold and sales amount now these are the columns here and let's say if i ask you question like which region had the highest sales will you be able to tell me by looking at this data no okay next question is what was our top product last quarter will be able to answer this using this data the answer is no that's why you want pivot table for this okay so we'll learn what is pivot table before going to that let me tell you what is pivot table and how you can create that table with the help of infographics so basically you have this where you will find the raw data that we have discussed that we will have raw data then what you need to do first is you need to just select the raw data okay whatever whatever data table you are having or sheet having you need to select that we'll go and see the practically but right now i'm telling you how you can create that uh, table okay so first of all you need to select and insert a pivot table you will find this option in google sheets as well as excel sheets and in this video we are going to see about both of the sheets the interface is little different but the concept is very simple and easy and it is applicable for both google sheets and microsoft excel okay so then you need to build a report how you can build a report once you created the table you will find four options over there first will be your row second will be your column this will be a filter i have created this using uh, ai so it is showing wrong here it will be filter and fourth will be your values okay i'll uh, before sharing this uh, before sharing this graphic i'll edit this and will let you know but four things will be there okay and this all four things you can use using the uh, pure table then you can customize your calculation okay these things we are going to see some average count max and minimum in pure table how can you uh, use it so this is your values okay this one is your values then this is your filter you can see here filter you can apply filters of multiple things then it will be your rows and column rows and column will be as it is whatever it will be there then you can customize your dimensions or color pattern or whatever it is there you can customize the theme and you can filter for the focus means there will be multiple things you can filter according to your choice okay that we are going to see through a practical example Okay. so basically pivot table is the table where you don't need any formula or something it will give you the extract of your whole data 
okay including some if you want some average percentage change whatever you want to calculate you can calculate using the pivot table now these are the steps and we are going to follow same steps on the excel sheet the first step is we need to create our canvas okay we'll create one uh, sheet where we need to enter our data so we data will enter okay then pivot table we need to do this pivot table thing we need to just insert a pivot table then we'll see this thing okay in this thing we need we'll get two three things first is data range whatever table range you are having that will select here and then we need to select whether you want to work with new worksheet or you need to work with existing worksheet okay these are two things we need to do and we'll do this on our excel sheet okay so for that i have this already have this data to create one pivot table now what i am doing i am selecting whole a b c d e column to create a pivot table okay i am going on to insert and i am clicking on the pivot table okay so once you create pivot table you will find multiple things here okay first is table range we have selected table range whatever a to e we have selected you can see here okay then new worksheet or existing worksheet if i click on new worksheet it will create a one sheet extra sheet here new sheet as a pivot table and if you want to work with existing worksheet you can select here existing worksheet and then just click here in any cell where you want to start your pivot table and it will get reflected over here okay and click on okay okay so this will be your starting of the pivot table where you are inserting the pivot table now you have inserted the pivot table now how you can insert it i'll tell you again first you need to just select your table area then you just go to insert and insert you need to select the pivot table okay i'll tell you again just i am selecting this range then i'm clicking on pivot table you will find the table range over here and you will get two options whether you want to insert this pivot table in new worksheet or you want to continue with your existing worksheet okay here i have selected existing now i am showing you how you can select the new one so if i click on new worksheet then it will create a new worksheet okay this is sheet 2 and you can find your table here see it is it is written here pivot table 2 one more thing if you click on this pivot table area then it will show you this thing if you click outside it will go away okay that pivot table menu will go away if i am clicking on it it will come here okay let's go back to our sheet number one where we'll see how uh, we can create a pivot table now this pivot table area i'm clicking here okay now here there are multiple things that you can see here okay now it's very simple to create a pivot table now you can see here are multiple things let's understand the data first we have date region product unit sold and sales amount now my question is please tell me for what region what sales amount we have got okay now for that what i am doing i am selecting the region and i am putting region into rows okay see region into rows now if you are putting anything from here into rows then you will get that in vertical format remember because you are putting something under rows so you will get vertical format mean it will form a row now this is row formation okay this is row formation if you want to put region into the columns thing you can put this into columns thing okay it will create columns for you okay but i don't want columns i want in rows and then what i want sales amount so sales amount i am putting into values so whatever you are putting as a value means number okay whatever number you are having you should put into values now this is the sum of my sales amount okay if i want to change it to something else let's say if i, if I want average sale per region then what i'll do i'll click on the drop down and i will find value field setting from here i can change the value to average and it will convert to average now i have the average sales amount for each and every region okay like this whatever data you are having you can create a pivot table for it and you can create a pivot table now we'll add more filters to it for example i want to see the sales amount for the region date wise now i want to put date as a filter into my table so i am putting date as a filter now from here you can select whatever date you want okay let's say i am selecting this date okay this is first month of 2024 i am selecting this and it is showing me i average sales amount for month of january in 2024 for each and every region 
Now let's change the values and instead of region, I don't want region and I don't want to data as a filter. I am removing region and again I am removing the sales amount. Now I want to see which product has how much sale. So I am putting this product into rows, okay, and I am putting the units sold into a values, okay. So I am getting to know that total unit sales of headphones are five seventy five. So according to this, I can easily find what is my sum of unit sales, total unit sales. I can find that here. Okay, according to that, you can use here. There are multiple things that you can do. For example, I am removing this all things and I am putting date into the columns. Okay, and I am putting my product into the rows and whatever sales amount I am getting, I am putting into values. Now, if you can see here, okay, I am selecting all. So you can see I am getting my product sales according to the date you can see here there are multiple dates that i can get here okay now why it is showing blank because at the end of this column we have blank sales that's why it is showing blank okay so this is the meaning of pivot table you can use the pivot table like this also you can edit your pivot table you can do multiple things you can do one more thing for example you can add sub points to this okay for example i am removing product and i am putting the region over here and under region i am putting the product okay now you can see here in east what was the product that is sold and dates are here you can remove the dates it will give you a overview so for example in east region i have sold this three products and this is the sales amount okay if you want to hide region if you want directly uh, region wise sales total sales then you can do from here okay like this you have the region wise sales plus you have the grand total how much amount you have sold okay how much gadget you have sold and how much amount you have got okay so this is the use of pivot table apart from that you can do you can add one more uh, value which is unit sold into this and this will tell you how many unit you have sold okay so what you are getting to know region in what region what product you have sold plus what was the sales amount and how many um, unit you have sold if you want to see what was the average amount sold then you can just simply go to your um, sales amount you put your sales amount to this values okay and in this you can go to this drop down and then click on value field setting and here you can go to average okay so it will give you average sales amount for your same region and this is the uh, value that you are getting okay so according to this you can use your po table and you can solve lots of problems i will give this sheet to you to practice each and everything from scratch also i have one more sheet which is google sheet and here also you can insert your table like this just select your columns then click on insert and click on pivot table okay once you click on pivot table you will find same option new sheet or existing sheet i want to create an existing sheet and i am clicking the uh, here i am click creating table here okay and selecting okay okay and then i'm click creating uh, clicking on create okay and here you will get the things same things rows columns values and filters everything will be same there you will get box here you will not get box okay and if you want to see what is your sales according to region just put your region to rows and put your uh, sales amount into values okay so in this way you can easily find the answers of your pivot table you can create easily pivot table according to that uh, you can do one more thing in google sheet you can do one more thing you can just you are uh, this you can click here percentage of row percentage of column percentage of grand total you can add these things uh, then you can click and change your uh, uh, aggregate from here maybe some or you want average mean max whatever you want you can click for change from here also you can uh, change the table sorting according to your rows or whatever you are putting over here then for example if i am putting on ascending so it is already in ascending if i am putting on descending it will uh, sort the result on the basis of the values okay for now i am putting as a ascending 
okay so this is the use of pivot table in your google sheets okay now let's go back to our uh, ppt and i'll summarize this how you can create the pivot table okay so first step is very simple you just need to create here your whatever table is there you need to just select and click on insert and click on pivot table then here range will be there you can cross check your range and then click on the new worksheet or existing worksheet if you are clicking on existing worksheet please select a cell so that it will create a table in that cell only then you will find one cell or a field pivot table field where you can play with it okay there you will get four option first is filter to focus on a subset of your data means whatever you want to filter whatever parameter you want to select for filter you can select that then columns columns will be uh, help you to just create a column means for example dates you are creating date so date one date two date three and it will help you to create a column then rows rows you want to uh, create to creating rows it's very simple right no need to explain over there and the values values means whatever numerical things you want to calculate that you will put into value section so for example if you are putting your value into rows then it will create a one column where you will have multiple values so that it can put your all values into your right hand side and it will create a rows okay so this is the use of rows just like that we have created one report where we are talking about the sales amount region wise here we are talking about sales amount region wise so similarly you will get here i told you if you want to change your values then you can just select click on the your uh, drop down and then you will find a value field setting from there you can change whatever you want to select whether you want to select sum count average mean max you can select from there then if you want to expand your result while if you want to add more product data if you want to add unit data if you want to add dates you can select the columns you can just drag down your cell you can drag down your column into the column section okay whatever field you are having that you can just select and put into a column section and like that you will find your dimension okay and according to that you are creating your dimension here uh, in filters i have already explained you can select uh, on the basis of date or you can select on the basis of uh, your region you can select in region also if you put region into the uh, your filter section then it will still show you result according to your selection uh, whatever region you have selected then you can select the design also let me show you how can select your design so here if you go to the this cell and if you click on the pivot table so here you will get multiple options you can refresh your pivot table you can change data source that we mostly not required and here you can hide the rows headers okay see you can see here it is hiding it okay then if you want to uh, deselect your column headers that you can select from here and from here you can change your color of your table okay so like this you can change your color of the table then you can add it banded rows means if you want to highlight that you can add this thing okay so this is all about the pivot table where you are creating pivot table you are formatting pivot table you are changing the numbers and you are changing the fields and you are getting your table you are converting your normal table into a dynamic table also you can convert your raw data into a proper structure table where you can create the table and from that you can extract some insights so i hope guys you have understood this thing also so next lecture we'll learn about formatting and reporting and the charts so i hope you understood each and everything see you in next lecture thank you